But uh, you know, uh, there is two points. Uh, one of them that uh, we we are in in heaven. We are in heaven. Yes. Because I I was so suffering in all my life. Hmm. The people come to me and say, "You have the face of suffering." I I don't I don't like of course that the people will say this to me but inside of me I realize that it's true mm. because my mind is always thinking about something suffering for myself to see the suffering but not like this skin you know exactly I'm suffering like this oh this is my suffering okay I put or not. I know this. This is part of me, but it's like a, a little distance now. I could be more happy now. I I could enjoy every part of my my joy. <laughs> and 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 they say the picture of your glasses is perfect because on one side you look at it, you see it, but you see more than just the suffering. Yes, this is, I can uh, take my eyes on it, or I know that it's here, but I look at my window, my, you know, this is wonderful. And this is happened to me, because this is the way that I, I start. I start to see myself and change myself and maybe make some jokes with my grandchildren. You know? Yeah, yeah. But in, uh, suddenly I was in this so beautiful way to do this self-encounter and other people will start to ask me, what do you do, what do you, you see, what do you think about this? And then I, I start to be so nice in my life. And that is, that's the most important one, I think about um, I see a lot of people who stay in this they put their trauma glasses on and they never come out of it because they put it on exactly like you have shown and and I always say and and also don't say it doesn't it doesn't exist that's the other part of the battle the one is who put them on and the other one but it doesn't exist Yes. It's not, not happening. No, it didn't happen to me. Nothing happened to me. No, it's, it's, it may be you for you, but yes, I'm not. So, and what you just said, that's exactly, I think, the healthy, the autonomous, and also the, and, uh, the enjoying the life, yes. you know, perspective as well. is like, yeah, yeah, it's part of my story. It's part of my history but it doesn't define me and I am not trauma only, you know? Yes, it happened to me, part of it happened to me, but I'm more than that. And there is more to life yeah, than just trauma. And I think that is the important part. And that is then for me again, this is when everything connects. I always have then the feeling of being the connect connection to, especially to nature. This is the the growing of the healthy eye. Yeah. It's growing, growing, and then there is not so much spa space to take inside of you the trauma and the, the stuff. Yeah, because people who have experienced this type of thing, it's like a backpack, I always say. And they <laughs> are so used, you know, to put another stone into the backpack and another one it's getting heavier and heavier and the problem is the older you get because we have now starting we are not 20 anymore so <laughs> and that's the thing people need to know when you're younger you think oh maybe these two ladies are talking bullshit you know it will never happen to me life is good etc ah but when you get older and i see it with people who are still stuck on the same bus line, on the same train line, you know, when they don't want to look at these glasses. Oh, it's getting heavy when they get older. It's getting super heavy and then chronic diseases, 
or Alzheimer's, dementia, and all these things are kicking in. You know, for me, it's like a river. It's like a river that you have a, a piece of tree, you know? Okay, when are you, you are young, it's only one piece and stay a little bit and go. But when you are older, there is many, many pieces and <laughs> the river is not possible to go through. The yes. To go to the other pet, to go to the... And then you have to take off the pieces. Exactly. Exactly. And it's not that life is punishing you because then people always say it like, oh, that's punishment. The, the Please. Karma. It's not punishment. It's part of your life. And I always also say, thank God we have no war. We have times of peace because only when you have times of peace, you can do these type of work that we are doing right now, the self-encounters. And there are many different other ways as well. It's not that self-encounter is the only holy truth, you know. There are tons of ways as people are on this planet. We got to know each other and we have chosen this path, but there's, there are many, many other paths as well, you know. And that's the reason, take it as a, as a present, as an opportunity, and not, again, as a punishment and something you have to endure. Because I remember when I started, it was all negative. <laughs> I mean, everything was always the language. And also when you talk about trauma, you know, it is, it gives you, it, 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 it can pull you down. Exactly. <laughs> and that's the reason why, for instance, I turned my language. I turned my language and now I'm talking about physical, psychological and soul injuries. And then I explain what can happen, you know, pre-birth and post-birth. And when I give real life example, then people say, oh, oh, yes. Ah, oh, that was also with me. Mm, that happened also to me. Oh, by the way, I, and then they tell me things. And then afterwards they tell me, I never told anyone this story before. You are the first one. But then we are in a different, then we are in a communication of human being to human being. Yes. And then we, we, we touch our hearts when we tell our stories, you know. And we don't need to be dead our story to be told you know or famous that someone is telling our story yes. these times are really gone now every one of us can tell uh, our stories and this is where we then meet <laughs>